now have the Gordon Murrays in the crew too. But when are we getting the Gordon Murrays in the crew motorfest well this is a topic that i could actually say a fair bit on so i thought why not talk about this but talk about it while talking about the brand new gordon murray t50 s in touring this one is in what in motorfest is going to be racing you could tell this from ages back because it had the slick tires on it instead of the regular road tires now what if i told you we actually have confirmation on when this thing is being added to motorfest but don't have confirmation on some other cars and I think it kind of confirms some things because it didn't confirm some things if that makes any sense well first of all the sound on this thing sounds way more generic crew 2 sound than the other Gordon Murray did I'm not gonna lie this thing kind of the sound just it's not there but the steering wheel is whoa that is what what kind of a steering wheel is that it's not even a wheel it's a what the steering infinity what is the huh this thing is honestly something gordon murray i think just makes a flex and now it's in a bunch of games i believe it came into forza motorsport very recently too and now a week later we have it in the crew too let's first see what kind of customizations we have on this thing if there is even anything, which there's not going to be because, of course, it's a touring car. There's no customization on any touring cars. It comes with a secondary color, like a red. It's not the best, honestly. Liveries. Tell me people have made good liveries. I don't actually know. Does this thing have any real-world racing liveries? I mean, that looks nice, honestly. Whoa, that looks very nice. Is that based on anything? Or did someone just have all these different badges ready and just made the car as they could? Here. Oh, whatever, whatever. Oh, he also made like a very British green version of that same livery. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with... Oh, that green, that, that British green one's looking kind of nice. But can we... We can't vanity this one either, man. Gordon, Gordon, you muppet. Let me do something to your damn cars. I mean, oh, well, I guess, right? At least there's other stuff to talk about other than this car. But I already knew that it wasn't going to have vanities because the other Gordon Murray doesn't. And... It wasn't likely that it was going to have... Yeah, it wasn't going to have customization because it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a touring car. There we go. Well, we'll take it into a race, sure, but... Right, transfer. This thing really is... It's just been given the most generic engine sound imaginable, which is kind of sad for Gordon Murray, because Gordon Murray... They're known for their pretty damn cool engine sound on the Gordon Murray T50. Of course, this is the T50S. Already, I don't think it's breaking any records for the fastest car in touring, considering it's being outspeeded by a Nissan GTR. Then again, I don't have Nitro Chemist on this thing. But when I will have Nitro Chemist on it is when it comes into the Crew Motorfest, which they confirmed is going to be Season 3. March? Which is also when we get the final, presumably, final final update for the crew 2 when we get the last content filled patch this one was the mad update and then we got one more and that's also march march is also when we get gordon murray transferred over they confirmed this in the article that they released but this is the first car from this update first two cars i suppose that they actually confirm to be transferring to motorfest you know what cars they didn't confirm the Audi TT newer convertible one. The Renault in Rallycross. The Peugeot in Rallycross. Three brand new cars. The Mad Edition Viper. Four brand new cars that have already released that they have not confirmed to be transferring to Motorfest. So what's going on? Also, this thing is quicker than I thought. Damn, okay. It doesn't have a great launch, but God, is this thing quick when it's picked up speed. I am so far gone from that damn Nissan GTR, and it handles so nicely. Oh my God. Okay. It's kind of nice. It's, it's honestly, that turn there, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. See, it's weird to have actively mentioned this, because I just assumed this. People were telling me, oh shit, there's big news, big news, shit. They said, the Gordon Murray is going to be in the Crew Motorfest in Season 3. 
And I was like, why is that big news? I mean, I just kind of assumed that this was going to be a thing, right? It comes in Season 3. That makes the most sense. But then they clarified that this is the first car or set of cars to confirm this. And they're right. Because honestly, I don't remember them mentioning anything to do with the mad update when it dropped. And they especially didn't mention anything to do with the rally cars. Or the... Why is my audio bugged? Hello? Uh, what? Is this the first EV in the crew too? Whoa. Are you guys hearing this? Or not hearing this? Um. <laughs> now this is a cool bug. <laughs> I mean, that's... What an interesting, interesting bug. This bug has made the first EV in the crew too, at least sound wise. <laughs> like I was saying though, they're right, people are right. We don't have a confirmation on all the other ones. It, that's why it can be weird. I can understand that it's weird that they clarified for the Gordon Murrays. So are we not getting the Mad Viper? Are we not getting the, whoa, it's dead quiet. Are we not getting the Mad Viper? Are we not getting the Audi TT? Are we not getting the Renault or the Peugeot Rallycross cars? Actually, wait, there's a way to check this, isn't there? Ooh, oh, there's a way to check this. Hang on. I might unravel my own entire video here because there's a way to check this. Also, what a lovely looking race car. This thing just looks beautiful going through all these turns. Absolutely brilliant. It's so weird, the engine bug right now. It's so odd. It just does sound so EV. Okay, now, is our car back to normal? It is. Okay. So, if I go Crew Motorfest, collection import, this is in order that you bought the cars. Okay, we are getting very near to the end of the game to current day. Oh, there we go. Wait. No Audi TT. Yeah, okay. Let's check Rallycross because that would be an easier one to check. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm... Oh, I might be... Oh, I might be confirming. I think I didn't want to confirm because, no, it does look like... It, it... It's... It's starting to look like that these cars aren't transferring. They updated this today. I guess we'll also see if Gordon Murray is here. Here we go. End of rally cross. Nothing. So hypercar. Does hypercar at the very end have the Gordon Murrays? Because that'll blow this thing wide open. Oh, it doesn't. So there's a chance those cars are being added. But why confirm the Gordon Murrays and not confirm those things? I don't know. It's all weird. Who knows why the Crew Motor Fest or the Crew 2 do anything they do? Uh, I was, uh, head down there and subscribe. It'll be very much appreciated. I'll see you boys in the next one. Thank you to Poppy members, especially thank you to members. I say thank you to Star Wars, Animal of Animal Girl, Pepper, and I didn't say, 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 I did